Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an M46 KR pattern. It's the uh, Ripper pattern. And it's the Tier 8 American Premium Medium located on the North Spawn of Malinovka under the command of PJ Traitor. PG Traitor. Get it right. Of Red Unicorns. <laughs> I'm saying get, it, get me right because obviously I'm saying that wrong. Well, the pattern tank. The M46 is very underrated by many people, mainly because it's um, not very strong on the hull and a lot of people play it incorrectly. They fail to realise that it's actually the turret that's the strong thing on this vehicle, not the actual body. So as long as the body's covered, you're okay. It's got a 90mm gun, capable of doing 240 Alpha. And with the uh, premium ammo, the penetration is 243 millimeters, so it's actually fairly decent. And say, a lot of people play this tank wrong because they allow the enemy to get shots at the main body. And this is the version of the pattern that went to Korea. Okay, gets a shot into the T92. No, not on that occasion. That's it, that's better. Keeps losing sight of it, and then somebody gets it back again. He's manually aiming now. That's better. And he got a fire, and he's gone. Nicely done. Just got to remember the engines in the front of that thing. No outline, he's below the ridge line. That one isn't though. Nope. They're way, way, way back. Now this is a tier 10 game, he's tier 8, so he's going to earn a lot of extra XP if he can do some damage. Got the top of the hill now because the nudist is up there. Mind you, he's only on the first level. T69. No. Tried the snapshot, but it's not the most accurate of guns. Okay, IS-7 up on top, and Samoa, hug the rock. That's it, Oh, bounce one. He's hulled down, so he's okay, he's doing it right. Yep, 267. Bounce to another one from the Striv, and from Samoa. Remember that Samoa's got uh, more shots. Yes! Oh, it was a ricochet. The kill actually went to the SU-130 PM. Got a strip. Can't get a shot on him. T-95, yes. Go between. Yeah, took a round from the IS-7. Ouch. We were exposing the hull there. Low plate. If we go too far to the right, we're going to expose to the enemy fire. Because the IS-7 can see us. There we go. Nice! Went right through the drive wheel into the uh, body as well. Go for another one. Yep. No, he's put it, he's gone hold down now. Nice! 234. Oh yes! The IS-7 gets him! Oh, 
I think those were shots actually coming in from the other, from the enemy. Can't see where those shots actually went in on. Oh, there they are. That's where the IS-7 got us. Locked onto the Striv S1. Didn't get that one in. Go a bit higher, a bit higher. Easy. Yes. Got him now. <laughs> IS-7 just made him completely irrelevant. <laughs> Jagdpanzer E-100, Jaeger route. Oh, T-6, oh, it's a T-95. And he's hulled down, but we got the side of him. Nice. Go for the engine or the fuel tanks. What is he doing? Is he facing off against the Uders? Has he gone AFK? I think he's gone AFK. Well, he's down now. I reckon he must have gone AFK. Might easily have lost some bit of points there, but he, he carried that nicely. It's my favourite method of getting down this hill, actually, is to go down that side bit and then scoot along the other side of the ridge line. And there's not a lot the enemy can do because they can't work out where you're going to come back, come popping up. Yeah, group. Oh, he's not looking at us either. Have they all gone AFK? I think he's AFK. It it seems like they've all just like disconnected. What is going on? The T sixty nine hasn't gone AFK. Oh, he's doing the right thing. He's firing into the drive wheel. It's going through into the hitbox nicely. Oh, no, he's got the side of the armor. No, go through the drive wheel. It's easier. That's better. It's keeping in place anyway. Even if he came back, wouldn't be able to do anything about it. And the kill! <laughs> and the I-7 barges past us. But unfortunately, we did lose our Emil 1 to the Waffen Traeger. And just took a round from a bat chat. Now, hopefully, he hasn't got any more mag shells available. Well, we did get Amarax, and we've had to burn our repair kit. There's the Emil. Waffen Traeger. And, oh, repeatedly hit. Where's the Emil? He's too far away. Go for the bat chat. Again, too far away, I think. He's going to have to motor if he's going to get any shots on them. Now he's got them. Okay. behind the buildings that's why ah uh, well that's game
A lot of damage in that battle and very well played with the IS-7. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for PG Traitor in the M46 pattern. KR, the Ripper pattern. He managed to get an arsonist. He set fire to one of the enemy and watched the burn. That was 292. And he got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got seven in that one. A shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points for his own vehicle. And a five for effect for doing more damage than the hit points for his own vehicle. But no epic medals, I'm afraid. Just the ace tanker, but that's good enough in this vehicle. Let's have a look at team score. Didn't get the highest damage in the game. No. Nope. He did get the third highest damage in the game. The IS-7 did the best. He got 5,506 hit points of damage and kind of bullied his way past the uh, PG Traitor towards the end. The, uh, pardon me, the back chat 12 ton got, uh, 25 ton got uh, 4,390 hit points and PG Traitor picked up 3,472. When it came to kills though, it was the Unit 16 who managed to get three kills. So did the SU-130PM. And the Batchat, IS-7 and PG Traitor all got two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it was PG Traitor. Because he was a lower tier tank in a top tier battle. And uh, yep, 1,388 base experience points for him. 1,067 for the IS-7. 866 for the Batchat, 25 ton. He fired 37 rounds, got 25 direct hits and 15 penetrations. Damage of 3,472 hit points, of which 1,022 were at more than 300 meters. Received 7 hits from the enemy, 2 of which were penetrations, 5 non-penetrations, and 2,280 hit points of damage blocked by armor. 8 enemy vehicles damaged, 2 killed, and 1,721 hit points of damage assistance. I think that's sporting, actually. On the... Premium county earned 80,480 credits and after repair and ammunition resupply and he did spend a lot on premium ammo. 4,626 hit points, uh, hit points, credits loss I'm afraid. Yep, it was a huge amount of premium ammo. 1,388 XP times 2 for the first victory and 208 for this being a premium vehicle. Took away 4,372 altogether and he said... So, ace tanker some people have all the luck well i think this is a very good battle from from uh from his perspective because he played the pattern to its strengths he stayed hold down against that is7 and it was only at one shot that the is7 managed to get into him which was a really good one uh, which actually did, did hit the hull but the majority of the time pg traitor stayed with that just the top of the the um uh, IS-7 showing above the grass so that he could actually put those rounds into the lower plate through the glass and protected his uh, his own hull in the process so very well played because it was a, a superior tank being taken down by um, a, a kind of tiny little Weasley tier 8 premium so well done if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel hit that notification button the little bell symbol if you want to get alerted when there's a new video out and thanks for watching